Okay, so this is the Pentair Superflow pump. It's a horse and a half. And just want to go over the programming of it with you. So how do you program this pump? Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see here. So let's start with the time. And what you do is you just hold down the display button for five seconds. And then um, we can go 24 hours or 12 hours. Push display again. Now we can change the time. Okay. So let's go. What time is it? It's around 1, 1.30. It's uh, 2 o'clock. Oh, see, so it, it stalled out. I waited too long. I flipped back on my phone to see what time it was. And so to get back to that, we hold the display button down for five seconds. And we push it one more time. Now we now we can uh, change it again. So it's, it's like 2.03 p.m. Okay. That's that. Screen 100. I don't know what that was. Anyway, so now we're gonna program speed one, two, and three. And how this works is it, it comes on every day and it always starts on speed one. And then after that, it starts speed two. And then after that, it starts speed three. Okay, so we push uh, speed one to program it, and then we select the speed that we want it to be at. And this is all really preference um, and how you want to set it up. I'm just gonna show you a, a way you can set it up. Some guys just um, don't program anything on two or three, and they just have the program on speed one. But let's just say we wanted the pump to come on at 1750. Oh, 1750. Okay. And then we'll push it one more time. One. And it comes on at 8 a.m. Okay. At 1750. We push it again. And let's just leave it there. We could change it, but let's just leave it. Okay. I'm, I'm going too slow. 8 a.m. and then the next is how long? So 8, 9, 10, so two hours. All right, so let's leave that there. It's gonna start at 8 a.m., turn, turn on for two hours, and then at 9, 10, at 10 o'clock, it's gonna go to speed two, okay? And let's set that speed a little higher. And this isn't how I normally do it, but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. Let's just say we want it to bump up to 2000. Okay, click uh, number two again, and that says 10 hours. So, so we don't want that. Let's just say we want it to run at that speed for another two hours. Okay. And then let's go to speed three. And let's really ramp it up. And uh, and you can you can set this however you want, depending on if you got your solar on, or, um, you want uh, you want it at a higher RPM. Maybe you have a suction side cleaner and you just want to set it to run at a higher RPM for two hours per day, just just to get that cleaner moving. So let's say, okay, so time, um, oh, I need to click three. So that's the speed. Let's, let's uh, do 2450 and then we'll do another, we could do another two hours. So that's six hours of runtime or we could do three hours. So the way that we have it set up, okay. Now it's gonna prime when I push start, but I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't come on. 
So it's going to come on at 17.50 at 8 a.m. for two hours. And then after that two hour period, it's going to go automatically to speed two at 2000 RPMs for another two hours. And then after that two hours, it's going to go to three for 24.50 at three hours. So that's how that works. And if you didn't want it to go to three, then all you got to do is when it gets to duration, just put zero and then it'll just go one, two, and then that's it. Okay, so that's how you disable these if you want to do that. So anyway, hope that helps.